I think we all know what a roller coaster is. It could be a super fast, super tall, and super intense roller coaster, or it could be for kids, and it only turns. But one thing they all have in common is that they all don't fly off the track, usually. Yeah, El Toro, I'm looking at you. So, how do trains derail, but roller coasters don't? Today, we're going to look behind the engineering of a roller coaster and see how it doesn't fly off the track. So first thing we have to look at are the wheels of trains. If you look under it, you can see it's just kind of resting on the track. No wheels on the side, not on the bottom, just on the top. Okay, keep that in mind. So, now let's look at the bottom of a roller coaster cart. You can see that the roller coaster also has wheels on top. But if it was only that, how could it do the crazy inversions, high-speed turns, and air-type hills? Well, it has what the trains don't. Upstop wheels and side friction wheels. If you are unfamiliar with what an upstop wheel is, it is the wheel underneath the track keeping it from flying up. If you are unfamiliar with what a side friction wheel is, it's the wheel on the side of the track keeping it from flying sideways off the track. All of these different wheels, the special track, and more keeps the roller coaster cart on the track, which makes you able to enjoy your ride on any roller coaster. If you were entertained, or if you just watched this far, please consider subscribing as it helps me out a ton. Peace.